I thought I'd just give you a very quick video to show you running a 12-way matrix on some previous code that we've shown in an earlier video, exactly the amp draw. Now it doesn't like the dissolve and it doesn't like the blinds uh, animation because it's illuminating all of the LEDs for a very short time and we have to view the video in slow motion to see what the amp draw went up to. Now I have the intensity set on number five, which is brighter than I've been using it and I've reduced the contrast down on the camera to make sure it doesn't blow out um, the contrast. <laughs> so you can easily run scrolling text on this matrix uh, on intensity 5 as long as you're just scrolling if you're using some of the effects you just have to be aware the more LEDs you're illuminating the more amp draw you're going to make and on the D1 mini as I've told you before it can draw or it can output 500 milliamps so we are or are roughly 120 below its maximum which I think is a good place to be um, but just so to prove that you can run intensity number five on a 12-way matrix now if you've only got a four-way obviously you've got less LEDs so you could run at a higher intensity but without a meter like this you wouldn't know what amp draw you're running and that's why it's always advisable not to power the matrix off the pins of the your microcontroller and this is obviously d1 mini um, that's why so if you had a separate powered connection you could run the display at a higher intensity and you wouldn't worry how many leds are illuminated it's just at the moment this chip is supplying the power to the matrix which isn't advisable for all product uh, projects especially a production project anyway that's andy saying good afternoon for now